education is tremendously important for the prisoners that we work with. Uh, there are many reasons for this. Uh, I think one of them is the fact that many people in prison haven't been to school before. Something like 80% of the prisoners in Uganda um, don't have primary leaving exams, so they've been at school for a few years or none at all. Many people offend because they're uh, unaware of the law. Uh, education is a way of transforming lives. Uh, many prisoners in Uganda are now studying for O-levels and A-levels, uh, and I think that studying for degree programs is a natural continuation of this. Uh, it helps people to be aware of um, their environment. It helps them to have skills to offer to their community when they return. Uh, it helps them to, to see that there are alternatives to crime. I think that when you have uh, no skills, when you're illiterate, uh, crime can be an easy option. And if you leave prison, uh, the same as when you went in, you don't see alternatives. But if uh, during those years in prison you can see that you have ability, you have skills, you have knowledge, you have something to offer uh, your community and your society, uh, I think that you see the alternatives when you're released. I think law is particularly powerful, uh, both because the vast majority of people in prison in Uganda don't have access to lawyers. Uh, they come into conflict with the law, but often they don't understand uh, what's happening to them. Often people uh, don't understand the offences they're charged with. They don't know the difference between being guilty and not guilty. Um, so people find themselves in conflict with a system which uh, they're largely unaware of. So legal education is important for um, prisoners whilst they're in prison to help them prepare for their trials or their mitigation or their appeals uh, so they have an understanding of how the courts work. But I think in the longer term there's something more powerful and that's helping to create a new generation of lawyers uh, who understand what it means to be in conflict with the law, who, who aren't motivated just by uh, money or personal gain but who are motivated by an understanding of what it means to, to be charged with an offence and uh, to not know what's happening to you and have to go to court and to defend yourself. Uh, and I believe that uh, helping uh, ex-prisoners to become uh, advocates is a way of uh, defending uh, and protecting the rights of future um, defendants. Before he went to prison, he wanted to, to be something else. But uh, when he went to prison, and because of the injustices he went through, and uh, he has seen many other people in the same situation as him, he decided to study law. And uh, he would like to, in future, to be able to help other people who, ca who are, cannot afford legal services, because uh, it's so expensive for many prisoners to get uh, lawyers, and because they don't have money to pay the lawyers. So he keeps saying that when he gets the LLB, he will be able to provide free services to those who cannot afford.